OK, so now let's look at the dictionary. So dictionary is another very popular uh, data container that we have used a lot in Python. Uh, so dictionary is a collection of the value, but it is a k value pairs. OK, so it, you have a k and you have a value. OK, so the k value are separated by this colon. And we are using um, either a pair of the curly bracket or use this dictionary function to declare a dictionary. So for example, this is the first key value pairs. So that's separate by comma. And this is a second key value pairs. This is a third key value pairs. So we put that one into this curly bracket. So that will define a dictionary. Um, the keys can be a string or can be number. So for those keys, you can be a string, for example, string A, or can be a number, so like one, two, three. OK? And for the values, so the values can be string, can be number, and can be list, variable, or even another dictionary so dictionary can also be nested okay so now you can see that so when as long as we as we are talking more and more data containers so it can be a little bit complicated so we can so actually we can put a list into a dictionary and actually we can also put dictionary into a list okay um to access values, we can just call that corresponding case. So for example, here we have a, a dictionary one that equals this. OK, and, and if we want to get the value of this key, we just call that dictionary one square bracket. And we put that key in this square bracket. OK and we'll have that value. OK, so if that is, uh, if the key is a string, so we need the quotation mark. If the key is not a string, we don't need the quotation mark. OK, um, so when we talk about dictionary, I want to just also introduce JSON. So JSON stands for the JavaScript Object Notation. This is a very popular semi-structured data site nowadays. Uh, so if you check this uh, example, you will see that on that website, so they, they now provide data in uh, different formats, and a JSON is normally one of the format that they will provide. And we will see the JSON, I think, later in this semester. And just remember that when we handle JSON in Python, we just treat JSON as a dictionary, OK? So when we handle the JSON later in Python, we just treat uh, JSON as a dictionary. So this is a website that I mentioned in uh, on the slide. Uh, so this is the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control. And they are providing the updated COVID data. And if you move on, you can see they provide data in the Excel file, as an Excel file. They also provide data in the, the in the other formats, that CSV format, JSON format, and also XML format. So JSON is now very, very popular. And when we handle JSON in Python, we just treat that as a dictionary. OK, so let's see some examples. So here, let me comment out the other, the previous code. So let's say we want to define a dictionary. We call it my car equals okay and we start with a, a pair of the curly bracket uh, and also to make it easier to read so normally I will put that one into separate lines so first I want to have a color key and uh, colon and also the value is red and also comma okay so here I just defined a dictionary, and that is the first key value pair that uh, the key is color and also the value is red. Okay, so hopefully now this will make sense to you. 
Um, and the second one, so I will call it maker. That is the key, and also value is uh, Toyota. So my first car and also uh, my second car are also from made by Toyota. And year, so in this case, the value is a uh, number. So my first car, I, I bought my first car in 2015. So when I graduated uh, from University of Georgia. All right, so now we just defined a dictionary. So this dictionary is declared by this curly bracket. Within this curly bracket, we have this key value, key value pairs. So in this example, we have three key value, key value pairs. For the first key value pair, the key is color, the value is red. The second one, the key is maker, the value is Toyota. Okay. And the third one, the key is year, and also the value is a number, which is 2015. All right, so let's print my car. OK, you can say this is just a dictionary. OK, and also if you want access of values of those keys, okay, those values of those keys, you just call the keys directly in this square bracket. So for example, if I want to get a value red, uh, I just call the key of that value and so that color. OK, so now if I run it, you can see I have the red. And if I call the maker, and you can see it is Toyota. And if I call the year, OK, so it is 2015. OK, uh, so that is a dictionary that we just defined. Now let's look at the methods that uh, in dictionary. So the item methods will retain a list of all the key values in a list of all the key value tuples. OK, so for example, we have a dictionary that has K1, V1, comma, uh, K2, V2. OK, so the items method will retain a, a, a list where K1, V1 will be the first item as a tuple and K2, V2 will be another tuple in this list. So the items will retain a list of these key value tuples. The keys will retain a list of all the keys. So this will retain, you will get a list that have all the keys. So key one, key two. OK. And the values will retain a list of the values. So in this case, the result will be V1 and also V2. OK. Uh, you can also use the get method that will return the value of an existing key. So the get method is that get. Uh, so if you call the k1, it will return it will return uh, the value of the k1, so which is v1. Okay, so it is similar like we call the keys uh, of the dictionary in that dictionary, and we get the corresponding value. OK, so now let's go back to see uh, a real example that in Python. So for example, here we have my car. It has three key value pairs. And if we print, if we print my car dot I items, you can see we have a list where we have all the key value, key value into each each individual tuple. OK, so the first tuple uh, of the first key value pair, the second tuple, the second key value pair, and also third tuple will be third key value pairs. And if you type keys, it will return a list of all the keys. OK, it will return a list of all the keys. And similarly, if you use values, 
it will return a list of all the values. So red Toyota 2015, okay, red Toyota, and also 2015. And you can also use the get function. So that is get. So for example, if we get the value of the year, okay, so it gave us a 2015. So that actually is equivalent by doing this way. Okay, you can see both ways will be able to give you the result. Okay, so sometimes you may prefer using this one. Uh, sometimes you may prefer using this one. If you can use both, use the one that you feel most comfortable with. Okay. Okay, uh, so let's continue. So if we want to add a new key value pairs into a dictionary, what we can do is that we call that dictionary and also we put the new key in this square bracket and on the right side we put the new values. Okay, we put a new key on the left side and also we put new values on the right side. And the, the key should be, be uh, surrounded by this uh, square bracket. And uh, similarly, so if we want update the value of an existing key, uh, it is similar to uh, insert new key, but instead of using a new key, uh, we are using an existing key. So we say dictionary existing key equals the new values. Okay, so that is update value of an existing case. We can also use the length function. It will return the number of the key value pairs. Okay, the number of the key value pairs. Uh, we can also use in operator. So in operator will check whether a key is in that dictionary. So it will not check whether a value in that dictionary. Okay, so it will check whether a key in that dictionary. Okay, uh, so let's see an example very quick. So here, let's say we have this dictionary that has three key value pairs. So color, maker, and also year. So if we want to add a new key value pair to this dictionary, so what we can do is that we can my car square bracket. And in this square bracket, we put the name of the new key. So this time we say, okay, the key is called model. And on the right side, we want um, the value. So the new value, so I call it Corolla. Okay. And so now if we print my car, and we can see here, this new key value pair has been added to this dictionary. Okay, so this new key value pair has been added to this dictionary. And if we want to change the existing values, for example, if we want to update a year from 2015 into 2020, so what we can do is that we can still call that dictionary and also the existing key, which is year, and equals to the new value, so let's say 2020. And now if we print this dictionary, we can see that in this new dictionary that after we made this change, the year has been changed to 2020. Okay, so that is how we can update uh, uh, an existing key. And the length function, so if you use length, say print len uh, my car. Okay, so the length function will return the number of the key value pairs in your dictionary. So right now we have one, two, three, four, four key value pairs. So if we run it, and we can see we have the result that is four, which is correct. And we can also use the in operator. So we say print. In operator will only check whether or not a key exists in that dictionary. So let's say we want to see color in my car. So we know that right now the color does exist in this dictionary. So if we write, and we say it is true. 
So in operator on dictionary only check keys, it doesn't check values. So if we see, we are right in this car, in my car dictionary, it is false, right? It is false. That is because right is a value, right is not a key. So we don't have a key that called right in my dictionary, in this dictionary. All right, so that concludes our um, uh, last lecture of the first section. So that is uh, date containers. So again, uh, we have a list. Is List is just a collection of ordered item. We have dictionary. So dictionary is a collection of key value pairs. And tuple and also set are all similar to the list. However, tuple and set in tuple, you cannot change the values within a tuple. And for the set, all the values are unique. So all the values in the set must be unique. OK, so that's all for this lecture. And also, um, so before we finish, we will make sure that we upload this lecture for to our GitHub. And I think this will be my last time that I'm going to demo this part, because in the future, I, I believe you should be able to do that. So git add all git commit dash m. So this is lecture four and gate push. Okay, so that will upload the lecture for uh, to our GitHub repository. So if we check that. Okay, so it's it is just it has been updated. Okay.